Adding artificial sunlight to your interior photos can help you to create a more compelling image for your clients. Hi, I'm Adam Goldberg, an Atlanta-based architecture, interior design, and hospitality photographer. And in today's Photoshop quick hit tutorial, I'm going to show you how using a few quick actions in Photoshop, we can create the illusion of sunlight streaming into our architecture and interior design images. Let's get right to the video. All right, here we are in Photoshop, and I have two images I'm going to share with you. This first image is an office space, and as you can see, we have some nice soft light coming in from the right hand side. Our windows are out of frame. If you have windows in frame, that's fine. So don't worry about it. But for this one, again, we have our windows out of frame, but you can still see where the window light is coming in. And so we're going to add that artificial sunlight and it's going to take an image that I think is pretty good and really make it stand out. So go to our background. I always like to click command J and duplicate my background layer that way. If I make any mistakes and I need to make changes, I always have the original image to go back on. Next, I'm gonna come down here to my create new fill or adjustment layer, and I'm gonna to go to my curves layer. I'm gonna click command I to invert that. I want it black so that way any changes I make are just going to be in the area that I have selected. And how am I gonna make that selection? I'm gonna click P for my pen tool, and I'm gonna come up and find really where it looks like the natural light is coming in and then I'm just going to add the sunlight. So I'm going to kind of make a diagonal looking shape. Right click to make that selection. Now your feather radius, this is basically how defined the edges of your sunlight are going to be. If you want them to be really defined, go with something like five. Somewhere in the middle, 20 to 40. And then if you want to go even higher and have a very soft edge to your sunlight, you can make the number even bigger. I'm going to go with 20. For the purposes of this, I'm going to click B for brush. I'm going to make my brush bigger, and then I'm going to make sure that I'm painting with white, in this case by clicking X, and I'm just going to paint in my selection. I'm going to click Command D. That's going to deselect it. Then I'm going to come up here to my properties, and I'm just going to click right in the middle and just start dragging up. And as you can see, we're adding brightness to the selection. I think that looks pretty good. So we've added the sunlight. I think it looks good coming in, but there's a couple areas here where maybe it looks like it was photoshopped in. But again, we can just use our brush. In this case, since we were white, we want to paint black. We want to add in what was there before. We can just kind of paint this in. And there you go. You have your sunlight coming in. Here's our before. Here's our after. It really gives the image a much more dynamic look. Let's try another one. So here we have an office. Again, our windows are off to the right. You can't see them again. If in your image, you can see the windows, that's completely fine. Again, Command J to duplicate my layer. New fill layer, that's a curve. Command I to invert it and then our pen tool. In this case, you can't really see where the natural light is coming from, so you're gonna have to play around with it, but let's just say we have some low sun. And again, you just kinda wanna make a rectangle that has some angle to it. Right click, make selection. Feather, we can do 40 for this one. Some softer edges to our sunlight. Take our brush. Again, make sure we're painting white, click X to change between black and white, and we're just gonna paint it in. And up in our properties panel for our curves adjustment liner, we're just gonna start dragging up. Command D. So you can see how much softer this edge is than the previous image. Again, we wanna make it look natural. We want it just against that back wall. So we're just gonna paint out Here, and you can be as precise as you need to be for that. And you can make tweaks to it here if you want, kind of change it. You can also come down to your opacity here as well and change how much of the sunlight we want coming in. So I kind of like something there, just a little bit softer. But again, if we go to before, after, it just gives a nice dynamic look 
to the image that it didn't have before. Hope this video was helpful for you and you learned how to create that artificial sunlight for your images. If you did like the video, hit the like button as well as subscribe. We have lots of other videos coming out. So thank you so much again for watching and have a great day.